shit. To be honest with you, man, she's a bad thing. Shit, fine as hell. Thick as fuck. Oh my god. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a review for you guys and they are going to be on these contacts right here. These are from Solo Tika and these are the natural colors in quartz soap. This is the monthly contacts. This is brand new. So what happened is Solo Tika decided to come out with monthly contacts um instead of yearly and they are in available in the hydro core line and i believe they will be available in the hydro charm so this one is natural colors monthlies and then there's um solatica hydro core monthlies solatica hydro charm monthly oh shit what the hell whoops <laughs> some of the water is leaking <laughs> onto my pants so i forgot to take okay so there we go right there uh let's open this out real quickly so, ooh, yeah i see what happened so when you open it up you get this which holds your case which looks like this right here then you get this avowal right here that's going to hold your contacts in information etc then you are going to get a pamphlet that's going to tell you all the instructions that you need right here so what i like about it is that you get this packaging right here with everything inside so you get the contacts you get a pamphlet and you get a um case so you can put your contacts in the case and then you also get some context solution which is this right here so if it's your first time getting context you have everything that you need right there solution case um your context and a pamphlet so that you can learn how to use your contacts so this is a new solution this is a all-in-one solution with hyaluronic acid which is going to attract moisture it disinfects stores cleans hydrate moisturizes rinses and remove protein deposit for all types of contact lenses and this is a 50 ml so this will last you a good um a good while so what you'll do is you take your contacts out of the valve put it inside the case and then put this inside of the case so that your contacts can get adjusted to the solution and then you can pop it into your eyes i suggest putting it in inside the contact case for at least three hours or so before you put it into your eyes because if you put it from the valve into your eyes it's going to burn so let's get straight into what my natural eyes looks like i have on a lot of makeup just because this color is bright as you can finish the rest of that it's very very bright so you can't wear it on a natural face it's just gonna look off so i just had to get glammed up so that when i do put the contacts on it's gonna look adjusted and more blended with how i look and then i'm gonna show you guys some pictures so this is natural color in quartzo i wanted to get natural color in quartzo because this one has a more defined nimble ring it has specks of yellow and green and whereas you can have the hydrocore the hydrocore doesn't have a limbo ring so it's a lot more natural but because there is another limbo ring i feel like it comes off a lot more scary and vampire looking whereas with the limbo ring on the natural colors um series it's more blended for you know darker skin or whatever is your skin tone is is more blended and it looks a less dramatic than on hydrocore now this is the monthly so one thing that i've noticed with the monthly lenses is that it's a lot thinner than the yearly lenses so that's gonna have your your eyes have more um breathability a more transferable oxygen going in and out so your eyes are going to be less dried out and you can wear it for longer periods of time with the yearly lenses it's very very thick so you know your eyes are going to dry out and you know it's going to get really 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 blurry just because your eyes are drying so um and it's easy to pop out just keep your case clean wash your hands change your solution change your contacts every three months and don't sleep in your contacts and make sure that you put some eye drops just to make your eyes uh, more moisturized. So as you guys can see, this is what my eyes look like. And then I'm going to pop this bad boy in. So this is with one contact. And as you can see, it's very, very dramatic. So this is why I say you have to put on a lot of makeup. Just because you just, it's, it's not going to, 
you see the difference like if I didn't have any makeup this would look so scary so like out of this world but with makeup it's like damn who is that you know so um I haven't seen a lot of people do reviews on this eye color at all but it is beautiful so let me pop in the other one and show you what it looks like on both eyes so here you guys have it this is both eyes as you can see it's very very dramatic um i haven't seen a lot of people do um like brown skin people do reviews of this color on their eyes so that's why i wanted to try this one just to see how it looks because sometimes everybody wants to go with the natural one but sometimes we're too afraid to go with the dramatic one just because we haven't seen what it looks like on someone that looks like us so it can be a hit or a miss so that's why um i wanted to try this one out um, this color is so beautiful. It is like the sky and the ocean together. It has this light green color with yellow in it and dark blue. It's, it's like a turquoise. It's just so many colors mixed in one. In person, it looks like a nice baby icy waterish blue, aquamarine blue. And then on camera, it's like this nice beautiful grayish color. So um, I'm going to get close up and show you what it looks like. It's very comfortable. Um, you know, the limbo ring just makes it look really, really nice. So let's get close up and you can see what it looks like. So I'm under the ring light as you can see. You There you go. You can see the specks of yellow in there. The specks of green in there. And then it just blends in so well um, with my dark iris on the outside there isn't much shifting on this as you can see either um i know with the hydrocore it's a lot of shifting but because it's already black around there you can't notice the shifting as much and see if i could get a little bit closer um i'm under the ring light and it just looks really really beautiful as you can see so here i am in front of the window you can see it's beautiful um it really is beautiful like this is shocking i love it i feel like if i wear this i have to wear a good amount of makeup and you know i have to be like a 100 and i think it will be able to be like pulled off but um i really love it it's beautiful i love this color i'm so glad i got the natural color because i feel like if i had the hydrocore just because it doesn't have that limbo ring, it would just look way off, like too much is going on. But with this, girl, this, yes. This is like a nice bluish color. And from a distance, like look at it. It looks really nice. So that's what I like about it. So um, I'll take some pictures and show you guys. And if you guys want to check out my other um, collection, I did Mel Avella. Um, graphite and I did natural colors in crystal you can check that out and I will post it down below so thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys until next time bye